As the last of the Arrowverse shows, The Flash's final season has a lot to accomplish. Tasked with ending the nine-season run and the entire Arrowverse, the season has a heavy burden to bear. With several guest appearances from Oliver Queen, Stephen Amell, to Nianal, Nicole Maines, the ninth season has included more than its share of heroes. Yet even without guests, The Flash has long been overpopulated. With an ever-growing team, Barry Allen, Grant Gustin, the titular hero, has been relegated to a small role, despite being the most recognizable character on the show. Admittedly, The Flash has introduced many interesting characters over its long run. Yet Team Flash has had a lot of turnover, leading to replacement characters who do not have the same place in the audience's hearts. The Flash began its shortened final season with too many characters. Despite a few exits and her powers grow to an unparalleled level, why would she need Barry's help? As the series lead, Barry should remain the most powerful hero on the show, yet his contributions to the team are no longer nearly as vital. With their ever-impressive abilities, Team Flash, particularly Kione, has hijacked the show. Somehow, these powerful metahumans have forced the Flash to take a back seat in his own show, which leaves Barry in an awkward position. Even initially, there was skepticism around Kione, as she replaced two more familiar characters. Although she began as a non-threatening character, her powers quickly became the Flash's trademark problem. With control over snow and plants and an inexplicable intuition, Kione seems to do a bit of everything. She claims to be connected to natural life, which opens up a lot of possibilities. Over the season, her powers have steadily grown until she very clearly claims to be a goddess, which is a pretty apt description. The problem is that, in just a handful of episodes, she went from a newly introduced, non-powered character to a goddess with almost no limits. In episode 11, A New World Part 2, Kione manages to turn Mark, John Kor into a pile of ash and then resurrect him. She also grows plant cells into human bodies and claims to sense natural phenomena from across the world. Now that Kione has unlocked her full potential, the possibilities are endless, but is that a good thing? The Flash only has two episodes left, and her newfound abilities may make it too easy for the other heroes, who have spent more time on screen and deserve their own ending. After all, with a virtually all-powerful goddess on the team, what is left for the Flash to do? Episode 11 demonstrates the issue perfectly. With only a few episodes left, Barry and his journey should be in the spotlight, and instead, Kione got the most development in this week's episode. In fact, Barry only appeared for a minute or two and was uninvolved in the main conflict. With the negative speed force coming after the team and Barry missing, they prepare to deal with the threat. They face exactly what Barry dealt with in the past, literally, considering he was trapped in his childhood as the negative speed force possessed a friendly face to attack him. This time the negative speed force targets Kione, separating the rest of the team while using Mark's face. Despite the struggle, Kione learns confidence in her abilities and defeats the negative speed force without support, even defying the rule that killing the negative speed force would kill Mark, too, as she develops the power of resurrection. Barry being gone throughout the episode means the team is forced to act on their own, yet his return should have impacted the plot. As his support, Team Flash needs to be competent in a crisis. However, they shouldn't have an easier time than Barry when defeating the same enemy. They certainly care about Barry's disappearance and want to find him, but they don't need Barry to handle the threat. If Team Flash no longer needs the Flash, they are too powerful. Kione is only the latest member of this trend. Cecile Horton, Danielle Nicolette, has been a culprit for several seasons as her empath abilities have grown almost excessive. With other metas, like Allegra, Kayla Compton, and sometimes Mark, on the team as well, it has become pretty stacked, to the point that they overshadow Barry. Though there is a place for characters besides Barry, too often, they take the focus of the show, often leaving Barry largely missing from episodes. This is the third time in season 9 that Barry hasn't done much for an entire episode. Saying goodbye to the character after 9 seasons requires him to have a meaningful conclusion, which cannot happen if he doesn't get the screen time he deserves. Barry should be allowed to do more in the show, but his overpowered team doesn't really need him, especially now that Barry no longer seems to be the most powerful hero on the show. When he does get to be the main character for an episode, he's given a solo mission, proving that he is a perfectly capable hero without an entire team. Barry has come a long way in the nine seasons, but he doesn't have as many opportunities to show off his powers anymore. Kione's overwhelming presence detracts from Barry's role as the hero because neither of them needs the other's help. As the series enters its final two episodes, Barry should be the leading role and the most powerful hero, not this seemingly all-powerful goddess. The series doesn't need characters to overshadow The Flash, which is, unfortunately, exactly what is happening. New episodes of The Flash air Wednesdays on The CW.